Uh, very dramatically uh, to me about 10 years ago, I was on the cardiovascular anesthesia service. That's the service that deals with people's hearts and blood vessels. And like all good anesthesia residents, I was making my rounds one evening to see my patients for next morning surgery. And the last patient I was seeing, I pulled back the curtain and there was Mr. Phillips. Nice fella, but he was just huge. He weighed 290 pounds and he was booked for a four vessel coronary artery bypass procedure. Um, he weighed 290 pounds, 290 was also his systolic blood pressure, it was also his cholesterol level, it was also his blood sugar level. I called him Mr. 290, nice guy, uh, but really clogged up in his arteries. And because it was late at night, it was too late to call the blood drawing technician up to draw his blood test, I drew his, his preoperative blood work into a glass tube. And I put it out at the nurse's station, and later I came by to pick up the blood tube and take it down to the laboratory. And when I looked at the tube of blood, I couldn't believe my eyes. When you draw blood into a glass tube and let it sit there for an hour, it separates out into two parts, and the red clot settles to the bottom, and the liquid part of the blood, the serum, rises up to the top. Here you see two tubes of blood, and the tube on the left is normal serum, is normal blood. Here you see the dark red clot, and this golden yellow liquid, this is normal serum. This is what your blood is supposed to look like. But I looked at Mr. Phillips' tube, and it was just shocking. The serum floating in his tube was thick and greasy white. It looked like Elmer's glue. It stuck to the sides of the tube when I shook it. I went back into the room. I said, Mr. Phillips, did you eat before you came to the hospital? He said, yes. I said, what did you have? He said, I had a double cheeseburger and a milkshake. And when he said that, I realized what I was looking at was all the fat in the beef burger and the butter fat and the cheese and the butter fat and the ice cream and the butter fat and the milk had oozed out into his blood and turned his blood fat. It's a well-known clinical phenomenon. It's called lipemia, and it happens every time you eat a fatty meal, you turn your blood fatty, and your blood stays this way for four hours until your liver can clear it out of the bloodstream. If you are like most